Hi, everyone. Silver Joker here. Okay, so we talk about the three nines fine silver, the premium silver and the generic silver. We talk about the 90% silver or junk silver, but we hardly ever talk about the other silver. That's sterling, 0.925. So today we're going to talk a little bit about sterling silver. Is it worth stacking? What the value is, how you calculate the value, and where my local coin store owner, Phil, stands on sterling silver. Also, I had a longtime viewer to my channel asked if he could send some silver to me and have Phil tested in one of my videos. And so we're gonna do that today. And one piece in particular really surprised me. Also, my sister came down, she buys a lot of silver online, but when she buys locally, she buys some Phil. She wanted to add some silver to her stack. And so I'll show you guys what she picked up. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. All right, everybody, here we are back at uh, Franklin Street Coins. It's been a while since I've been here and done some filming. A lot of busy days in my life, and, and uh, I haven't been to talk to Phil in a while, and Phil just had, but this just this just came in. Yeah. Had yeah. the Sterling set just come in, and uh, as you guys know, Sterling is uh, 9 two, nine two five. Nine two five, yeah. 9 two five, right. On a cost basis, if you can find silver that's Sterling, and um, I'm not talking flatware and that type of thing right. because a lot of that, it's very bulky to, to collect that time. But if something's already pre-made and you like, you know, you like the idea of what's on it, it's not a bad way to collect silver because, like I say, typically you're going to be able to get it a little bit closer to the actual silver value. Right. If you do the math, you just take the spot price and multiply it by 0.925. That's the actual amount of silver in there based on the spot price. Now, unfortunately, when we send it off to refinery, they're not going to give you full 100% price. So they actually ding it down even further than that. Oh, wow. And um, that's why a lot of times when you go to sell sterling silver, you uh, you can't do that calculation because chances are you probably won't get. Right, because even if you do the, the melt for sterling, it's, it's going to be even below that. It's going to be below that, yeah. and again, it's it's bulky, of course, obviously, to save the same amount of silver in other forms, it's not going to be quite as bulky as doing sterling. Right. Um, but again, if you like if you like the idea of what's on the bars or what's on the rounds, if, if it's a you know an idea that, uh, like the space program, if you like mm -hmm. that, certainly worth, uh, you know, certainly worth the the effort to go out and try to look for something like that as long as you don't you know, grossly overpay for right. it. Right. Well, that's that's the whole idea behind it is to understand that it's, the value is going to be in what you like. It's the yes. like, like value, not so much the actual silver weight yeah. value. And again, if you look these up, you'll see vast <laughs> yeah. you know, I was just different, ready to different say pricing that. in terms of what people are trying to sell these sets for. Yeah. Um, a lot of times um, it's vastly above the silver value. There are a few sets that are more unique and probably a, it's really going to really boil down to how many people it attracts. Uh, it's a supply and demand like anything else. So if it's a, if it's a rarer set that might have um, a lot of different people interested in, in what whatever the the theme is or... yeah whatever it is there they have on the on the rounds or the bars it, it may attract you know some heavier bidding on that type of thing and you may end up seeing a heavier premium on those types of things but mm. for the most part um, most of these are are valued at their sterling level right well, they are they are nice looking yeah. Um, yeah. they're nice looking so you said you're gonna send these off to the refinery probably go ahead and yeah. do that yeah, yeah. that's a pretty nice set all right, well, my sister just arrived, so I guess we'll uh, have some silver. And uh, so, uh, all right, so I see you got a, a pretty good supply of silver here, Phil, besides um, the uh, sterling. You yeah, still got some. I still got a little bit. We sold uh, some already this morning. I'm out of the, the one ounce, just generic bullion right now. Mm -hmm. I don't have bars or rounds. I do have a kilo. I've got some 10 ounce bars left, and then this is a round. Um, 
We, we've well, always been able to acquire it. The, the problem in acquiring it is what you have to pay to get it and then what you have to charge to sell it. So right. we, were, we were kind of uh, skeptical in terms of overpaying for it um, because then we had to appear like we're overcharging for it. We still don't make a whole lot on the silver we sell, but the market kind of eased off a little bit on the premiums I've noticed on the generic silver. Yeah, 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 I've noticed that too. Not, not as it was, you know, pre-2020, but right. certainly um, we're not seeing the huge, huge premiums that they, right. they used to have. But demand is still, still demand up. Demand is still very strong. Yeah. Um, and I think what's happened is the silver prices have not escalated to the point where it's dri driven a lot of people to um, feel like they had to hold on to it. It hasn't gone up $10, $12 since they bought it. So I think a lot of people have got into it. They've kind of waited their time out and for the most part um, it's coming back in now um, you know at, at either a break-even point or slight slight profit for them right. and they're willing to cash it out so I think that's where the supply is finally gotcha. starting to come back and, yeah. and fill the needs of you know the demand right now yeah yeah sometimes the the idea is you're gonna buy silver this week and it's gonna double by next month and you know yeah. that just hasn't happened right. um, and we had a lot of new people in the silver market yep. when, uh, when the supply was getting very, very scarce and that created the scarcity itself actually. Mm -hmm. And it isn't something that's typically an immediate um, profit center for a lot of people. They, they have to learn that you buy it, put it away, and kind of forget about it right. and continue to buy it. And it's a hard lesson to learn a lot of times in the, yeah. the new stackers, but yes. um, you know, you get into it. It is absolutely a benefit if you got to look at it like it's. You, know, you gotta, you gotta understand realistically what silver is designed to do for you, and uh, not give in to the hype. Uh, yeah, sometimes it's not always about making a profit on it. Sometimes it's simply about uh, putting money there that hold kind of a holding pattern, right? Just in case. Um, yeah. You know, inflation you. eats away at your dollars it may not eat away as much on the silver so when you go to resell it you've recovered a little bit of what you would have lost in inflation absolutely it protects your uh, hard-earned assets yes. your hard-earned money you got to put it somewhere where it can't be inflated into infinity <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right all right so what are you buying eagles today she decided to buy some eagles today oh that's all right how many eagles you get End up with five eagles All today. Right. Can't go wrong with eagles. So your stack's growing pretty good. Yes. And you stack for just to protect your money. Yes. Just to have some uh, some something in uh, savings. Right. Something that can't be inflated away. So anyway, so uh, a viewer to my channel sent this. Uh, he didn't. He didn't. He wants to remain nameless. <laughs> Um, but he sent this in and he says he's got some questions about it and he wanted me to bring it in to you. Okay. He asked for you specifically to see if you could test this for him sure. and if it's real he wants me to send it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'll do everything above board, you know, I'll just, you know, film everything so there's no question. But, uh, so yeah, that, but he, he has a question about all of them. So they're all marked. Yeah, I guess they're all marked. Silver. Right. Okay. And I know, I mean, I could just look at this one. And this one just does not look real at all. Yeah. I mean, it just does. I've seen a lot of them, and I, they just don't. But these would fool a lot of people. So anyway, um, he wanted them tested, so I told him I'd bring them in, let Phil test them, and we'll make a video of it. Um, okay, he well, may or may not get them back. If <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we are going to test on 999. Okay. So we're going to test on pure silver. Right, because they're all marked. marked right? Yeah. They're all marked so. silver. We're gonna change this to silver 999. We're gonna go back one, so it's just three nines, not four nines. Okay. And we're gonna try this one first, because that's the one you had the most Yeah, I, about. I, I mean, I'm no silver it's expert. It's not very but well I, struck, no, but again, depending good. on who made it, they just may not have good dyes. Right. And that one's perfect. Okay, well, okay. there you go. So. And this is the one that I really yeah. questioned. I was like, yeah, I, I don't think that one's real, but. Yeah. Anyway, but I guess that one is. That one's good. Because <laughs> he's getting it all back. <laughs> <laughs> this one's good, I can tell. Yeah. This one's marked, and it is also good. Well, all right. 
This looks like it's good. I think we had an issue with the No, I had a metal. It is on his behalf. Uh oh. That one we'll have to maybe take out and try. Maybe it's the case. It's just a little off. Um, I thought I got to keep one. Good. So that one's okay. good. Let's take this one out and see what happens if we. <laughs> Yeah, Silvertown, a lot of them are sometimes, a lot of the Silvertown ones are... Um, well, they've been around for so long, yeah. but the idea that you can, um, you know, the Silvertown... This is probably close enough that I probably wouldn't have too much question. Let's weigh it to see okay. if, it, if it weighs exactly an ounce, then I would probably be fairly well certain that it's, it's okay. okay. This, yeah. These are accurate to the point where, you know, they're... I mean, that's right on the line. Yeah. So. Yeah, sometimes if they're if they're raised, I guess yeah. they've got a raised image stamped on there or pressed on there that sometimes they don't. So we are exactly at one one troy ounce. It's mm. very hard to do for counterfeiters yeah. to uh, get it exactly yeah, I right. Would probably, if I had to make a call on that, the fact of these machines when there's raised surfaces yeah. and indentations, a lot of times if it's not a flat surface, it does sometimes have a little bit of a discrepancy in, in okay. reading it. So. I would probably, I would call it fine. You know, it's yeah. so close. That, yeah. Well, there you go. So I would say they're all good. All right. Well, there you have it, man. Uh, I'm going to be sending that back to you since you, uh, and I, I mean, I was almost certain that this one right here yep. was, I would I would have been, I would have passed on that one yeah, if I was. Yeah, it's just a weak die. Yeah. I mean, or the strength of the strike is just yeah. weak, but, um. Yeah, if I was at uh, if I was at uh, Trader's World or something like that and buying that and saw it without testing it, I would have probably um, passed on that one. I'm sorry, Marshall. Again, that's yeah, you know right that's on, right, right on, on there. That's yeah, right on that's also. On. And this is one of the hardest things to do in counterfeiting coins uh, is to get the weight right. So when yeah. you when you ask somebody to test for authenticity, one of the first things they might do is put it on a scale yeah. depending on what type of coin it is. Well, I put them on. Are very very susceptible to counterfeiting yeah. if they're not right. And it's always under. If it's something's under um, announced, that's pretty much a telltale sign right there. That's not good. But, I, you know, I put them on my magnet, and they all tested out good on the magnet. Good. Um, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But there you are. So there you go, my friend. Uh, I brought your silver in here. Phil tested it, and it's good. So. Dan, if he wants to sell it, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're always a buyer. So uh, you'll be getting that back, my friend. Uh, and uh, thank you very much. All right, Phil, so I'm going to, I appreciate your time, my friend. We yeah. had a good conversation today. And, uh, man, that stone looks good, but, you know, I don't know. I'm a collector of three nines. Yeah, yeah, you really have to make <laughs> I'm a I'm not a collector, a stacker, I should say. Yeah, you have to kind of make us the yeah. idea that you're going to start doing that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Right, nothing. I mean, it's all. silver. Yeah. But, uh, anyways, all right, so I appreciate your time, Phil. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you have it. Sterling silver is still silver. It's 0.925. For me, it's 90% silver because I just like those 90% silver coins and the three nines. That's for me. Sterling silver, I have plenty of sterling silver in my stack. I don't buy it aggressively, but I will not let a good deal pass me by. That's where I stand on it. Also, my good friend, you're getting your silver back. It was kind of interesting. I thought for sure there was a few pieces in there that were going to test as counterfeit but it all came back good so you'll be getting that back unless of course you want me to send you cash instead <laughs> my sister's stack is really growing i mean she's adding to her stack so anyway that's a good thing she's under she understands completely what silver's designed to do and so she's enjoying building her stack and i'm happy to help her <laughs> anyway i appreciate you guys stopping by more good content coming up I got some more coin stores that I think I want to visit before the summer's over. Of course, I'll take you guys along with me. And, you know, we're just going to keep the silver train rolling. Keep stacking. Peace.